Hey everybody, today we're going to be making charcoal like an eco redneck. So I need some charcoal to, for the gasifiers we're going to be firing up for the rest of the Gasification 101 series. So I wanted to make some. So what I did is I took my FEMA 55 gallon drum, I plugged the hole up. What we're making is a sealed retort. So we're going to yank this thing off, we're going to fill it full of wood, and then I'm thinking that you know the gases are going to build up in here. And hopefully they come down and uh, come out this and feed the fire so we can actually use less fuel to heat this from the outside. So what I've got right here is a big pile of shit. And we're going to be using this as our external heat source to heat up our 55-gallon um, drum to turn these like mill ends and this wood full of nails into charcoal. I really like to use wood with nails in it because other, you know, these are so hard to get out otherwise, but when they turn into charcoal, they kind of crumble down. You could just pull the nails out. So, this is all extremely wet. Can't be a redneck without gasoline. Whoa! <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna tack up just like a little kind of a frame to keep this propped up and above so we can put lots of firewood underneath. There's just some scrap I had. I didn't really want to cut, cut it too much or do too much work to it. So we're going to weld this up and then we're going to plop this thing full and as the gases build up they should be forced out down here to the fire zone and help add some fuel to the fire so we don't have to add as much wood. Alright, let's start loading this thing up. All right, the moment of truth. Let's see if we left it on long enough. I got about three and a half hours on this. It's just dark, and I don't feel like leaving it out any longer. Although if I have to, I will. Yeah, we didn't get it all the way. Well, that one's good. Yeah, that one's not good, huh? Well, that's the theory. That's, that's the principle in action. <laughs> With just a little more patience, you can have charcoal. Good natural charcoal. So after many hours, <laughs> I cut those pieces way too big. <laughs> after many, many hours, we have charcoal. Big, gorgeous, pieces of charcoal. You gotta love it. So those are indispensable for using your gas fire. When you start it up that first time, you want that nice char bottom so you can crack those tars. So I hope that was helpful to you. Um, it was certainly a, a lesson to me. <laughs> and um, hope you enjoy and hope you start making some charcoal. I'm gonna have more Gasification 101 videos coming shortly. I've just been taking a little break and um, we're gonna finish up strong and then come in the new year. I have some awesome, awesome things coming, so definitely pay attention for that. Thanks for watching.